Good morning, family. What a wonderful privilege to be together once again on this beautiful morning, sharing Kingdom Reflections. And I'm so excited to be sharing with you this morning a beautiful passage from the Word of uh, the Lord um, pertaining to the Kingdom of God. Um, and we're going to be speaking about the law and the Kingdom of God. And we're going to join the conversation where Jesus is speaking on the Sermon of the Mount um, Matthew chapter 5 and verse 17 he says, Don't think I've come to destroy the law or the prophets. I haven't come to destroy but to fulfill. For truly I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not one piece of the law uh, shall pass away until it has been fulfilled. And whoever breaks one of these le least of these commandments and teach other people to do so shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever shall, shall do these things and teach others to do them, that person shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I say to you that except your righteousness exceeds the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, you shall in no way enter into the kingdom of heaven. Now, remember, we've already talked about this entering into the kingdom of heaven, being born into the kingdom of heaven, receiving the kingdom of heaven, which is a synonym for the kingdom of, synonym for the kingdom of God. Now, Jesus was explaining to us that in the Old Testament, there was a law that was given uh, through Moses to Israel. And we know all of those laws, the Ten Commandments and all the other laws that are written in the Old Testament. But unfortunately, Jesus is telling us that that law was not complete because the word fulfill means it's filled up. It's made complete. So Jesus says, I haven't come to destroy the law, but I've come to make it complete. I'm, I'm, I've come to show its, um, its true meaning and how it truly should be obeyed. And that's why he says we need to be teaching other people to do the same, to live according to the law. But with a difference, because I don't want you to think that Jesus is saying that we need to obey the law in the same way that the people in the Old Testament did so. We find a very interesting scripture in Jeremiah 31 verse 33, where God is prophesying through Jeremiah and he's saying, There will come a time when the law will not be as it was in the Old Testament, because, I will, because that law was broken and was violated by my people, but I will write my laws on your heart. And so I want you to understand that, that when we are living according to the kingdom, the law of God is being written on our heart. And so we begin to serve the Lord from our innermost being. So we're not obeying it from the outside, like looking at the rules and trying to obey them. But actually God changes our heart and our nature. And we begin to live the law to its fullest extent. We begin to model the law to its fullest um, conclusion, to its fullest meaning. And that's what Jesus means by when he says, I've come to fulfill the law. I've come to show how truly you need to be living it. And that's why he also says that your righteousness shall needs to be more than the righteousness of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Why? Because the Lord said to them, you only obey me with your lips, but your hearts are far from me. And so what he was saying is, if you, do, if you just serve the Lord, you know, in your own strength, you are not more righteous than the Pharisees and the scribes. But you surpass their righteousness when you begin to let the Lord write the laws on your heart. And you begin to serve Him because you want to and because your nature has been changed. And now you don't have to necessarily access every single law to know if you've obeyed the law. You listen to the Spirit, you walk according to what, how God has changed you, and in that way you are living the kingdom life. And so I'd like to encourage you this morning to live according to the kingdom is, live, is to live from a changed and transformed heart. Let the Lord write these laws upon your heart. Let the Lord show you how to obey Him, not uh, in your own strength, but from your own transformed nature. Let's pray about it. Father God, thank you so much that you've come not to take the law away, but to fulfill it. Not just show us how to live it, but also us living according to your purposes and plans. We want to invite you, Lord, to write the laws on our heart. Show us how to obey you and to live according to your principles so that we would be a blessing to those around us. 
in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks so much for joining us. And tomorrow morning, we'll be here again, same time, same place, to share with you some more Kingdom Reflections.